Thanks, Greg. Well, a Gallup poll showed that President Obama's approval ratings fell to 44 percent following his comments concerning the mosque at Ground Zero, which may have led to this clarification the following day. In this country, we treat everybody equally in accordance with the law, uh, regardless of race, regardless of religion. Uh, I was not commenting and I will not comment on the wisdom of making a decision uh, to put a mosque there. I was commenting very specifically on the right that people have uh, that dates back to our founding. That's what our country is about. Well, plenty of people are commenting about what he's commenting on, and certainly uh, several senators have shown their support. Senator uh, Charles Schumer, Kristen Gillibrand, Congressman uh, Jerry Nadler, and Mayor Bloomberg have all come out to voice their support for the mosque. But Republican Congressman Peter King of Long Island says it's not a constitutional issue, it's a sensitivity issue. He joins us now this morning. Good morning, Congressman. Obviously, uh, you've had a strong reaction to the president's comments over the weekend. What do you say? First of all, the president has confused the issue. No one questions the right of the Muslim community to build the mosque. What I'm saying is that, that every right has responsibility. And the responsible thing to do here is to meet with community leaders, meet with the Green families, and find a new location which is not in the shadow of Ground Zero. Uh, this is right now just an grievous insult to so many people who lost their loved ones on that day. Uh, there's any number of other locations in New York. Governor Patterson has offered alternative sites, and that's what the Muslim community should be doing. Instead, the president came in, spoke in many ways about a false issue, because no one denies the right to do it, and then he certainly gave the impression he supported the building of the mosque, and the next day backed away from it. Uh, to me, he's injecting a political element into this, which I think is wrong. Well, you know, at this point, you make a good point. The sale is virtually a, a done deal. It's a private transaction. Are both sides of the aisle politicizing this? Everybody's talking about it on both sides of the aisle. Well, maybe. I, I certainly don't consider it politics in, in my case. I mean, I get calls. I've gotten so many phone calls in the last several days. People like Jimmy Boyle, Ernie Strada, Rosemary Kane, Teskels. I mean, all these people lost such close relatives on September 11th. So I'm speaking for them. I really am. And uh, I, I will be the first. I would love to have this issue drop tomorrow. If that mosque could be uh, moved to another location, which people agree on, you would never hear another word from me about this. I, to me, I, the last thing I want to do is reopen the wounds of September 11th. But that's what's being done, being done by these plans to construct this mosque at this location. Well, you know, if people are going to say it shouldn't be there, is, how, how close can it be? I mean, are we going to create a zone around Ground Zero? I mean, where, where does that end? That's where I think the president missed the opportunity. He could have asked the, uh, the leaders of the Muslim community to meet with those who oppose the project and come up with an alternative site. Uh, again, I couldn't say how many blocks it should be, but again, I would say the people who are most affected by it, sitting down with the Muslim community, I believe, could arrive at a location, especially if one is being made available uh, you know, by Governor Patterson. And as far as mosques themselves, uh, we have hundreds of mosques. We should have more mosques. I have absolutely no problem with the construction of mosques. It's just that location, that type of edifice that they're talking about and the, uh, the suffering that it would cause. All right, let's check in with what some of your colleagues have to say. We have a soundbite from uh, Congressman Anthony Weiner. I think the last thing that public officials should be doing, particularly constitutional officers like myself, are getting involved in deciding where a religious institution should or should not go. Okay, so you're saying you're not telling them where they should build, but it's a sensitivity issue. How do you respond to that? I would say that we, as, as public officials, we have an obligation to speak out for our constituents. One of the reasons people have lost faith in politics is because people uh, in office don't speak out for their constituents. I have people, so many people have been hurt by September 11th. They have come to me. They've called upon me to be their voice. And that's what I'm doing. Uh, otherwise, you would just have a few people who are uh, totally removed from uh, any type of government or politics making this decision. P politics in its best form is people uh, in office articulating what they you know, what their constituents want. And we have an obligation. Just once we're elected to office, it doesn't mean that we somehow take a vow of silence on something involving the Constitution. I support, obviously, support the constitutional right to build a mosque, but I'm also saying with every constitutional right, there are also responsibilities. And I'm right now talking about the responsibility I believe the Muslim community has to work with people and find another location. Some strong words over the weekend from Newt Gingrich. He said that Obama is pandering to radical Islam. It's akin to putting a Nazi sign next to a Holocaust museum. Do you agree with those, that, those statements? I would not use that kind of rhetoric. There's, you know, there's, there's been enough suffering here without adding to it. I think the issue itself 
is important enough and profound enough that we can debate it in an intelligent way without using words like Nazis or anything like that. I, I certainly have not done that. I think the worst I said is I thought the president was giving into political correctness, which I think is true. I think there's a certain elite thinking in New York that if you're opposed to this mosque, you're a bigot or you're biased. And I, I find that offensive. I'm willing to say there was good faith on both sides. Let's find a way to resolve it by moving the mosque to another location. All right, we're going to check in uh, one more uh, time. Congressman Jerry Nadler, we have a quote from him. There, quote, there is no way for government to block this. We do not put the Bill of Rights, we do not put religious freedom to a vote. I hope that people will understand that government has no role in this. Again, you know, you say you're not arguing against the mosque, but perhaps the, 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 the developers themselves should change their mind. What, what right do you have to say that? This is a very, very unique situation. This was the worst attack in the history of the United States. And uh, I represent constituents, and as do others. And I believe that what I'm doing is entirely within the Constitution. In fact, this is my constitutional obligation, is to speak out. I'm not denying anyone a right. I'm saying with every right is responsibility. That's also in, in, ingrained in constitutional law. So I think I'm standing for the best principles of the Constitution. I'm saying there is a right. Let's have that right exercised in a way that's responsible. And let's do it with people coming together, which will be the real way to build bridges and to break down barriers between different religions and ethnic groups. All right. Congressman Peter King, thank you for joining us. And uh, good day. We'll be right back.